The following segment is sponsored by Clark Planetarium. Now, nobody likes it, but every winter, inversions take over the Salt Lake Valley. And have you ever wondered what causes them? Well, Audrey from the Clark Planetarium is here to show us why. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in. Thank you so much for having me. This is like going back to grade school, like yeah, science fair. Bit. <laughs> Usually it's the volcano that explodes, but you've got something about the inversions. You're going to show yes. us how it works. Yep, absolutely. What happens? Um, so what it has to do with the airflow and the temperatures of the air. So the colder air is denser, um, which can be shown by this. This is actually a 3D print of the Salt Lake Valley. That's really um, cool. Yeah, it's super cool. My coworker Hawken did it and it's great. Um, and we have some dry ice here. If you want to just go ahead and pour that over. It is definite. I can, yeah. I can attest. Just it's, pour this in here? Yeah, just pour it in there. Boy, it feels so, like what we're all feeling these days, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Freeze. So it's super cold. Um, it's basically frozen air. It's frozen carbon dioxide. Yeah. And so you can see that the smoke here is actually less dense than um, the air. And you can see as it's kind of pooling out and wanting to sink to the floor. Okay. And so that's kind of what happens with an inversion. The air on the ground is colder than the air above it and it gets trapped. Okay. Um, and the only way to really get rid of it is say Just that hot blanket above is trapping everything exactly. down below. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then we get the inversion process. It's yeah. kind of like the upside down with Stranger Things. But right. But yeah. a little bit yeah. different. Exactly. In a cold version. Yeah. So if you and then we have Kool-Aid that happens. Yes, we have the Kool-Aid. So um, here is basically showing the different types of um, days that you would have. This one right here is a regular day where we have the red is the hot water, the blue is the cold water. Okay. And so if we take these and we invert them onto one another. Boy, I'm glad this is you and not me. <laughs> I know. I've tested this many times and I'm not great at it, but we'll see. You can see that it starts to mix. Uh, as the this cold, is cold sinks, on top, cold on top, hot, hot on the bottom. Yep. That's the normal condition. This is and the that's normal. where everything gets mixed up. And yep, it's exactly. Fun. The cold wants to sink down to the bottom, and you can see that it's kind of starting to get a little bit darker. Yeah, it makes um, sense. On the bottom and, and mixing. So on a normal day, the air down below is warmer, and so it wants to rise while the cold air wants to come down, and so it makes these convection currents that we see that clears out all of the smog and pollution that might so be sticking around. So we need around. a storm. We need yes. something to happen. <laughs> yes. On this, and what is this doing over um, here? So that one represents our storm here. So we have this smoke kind of hanging out around here, but right. to get rid of the inversions, we need a storm to come along. We need high winds to come along, and so if you spray that, it actually will cause... Oh, check it out the air yeah. to move around and you know kind of get pushed out of the way. We need that, that water coming. Exactly. That is so cool. What's the other yeah, model? So what the other represent? one, so this one represents the inversion. When the inversion happens we have a colder, um, the air towards the ground is colder than the air on top. Okay. Um, and so you don't get that mixing that occurs. You can see that this one's oh, pretty yeah. well mixed because the cold air was on top, but this one. The hot's staying up, the heat's gonna go, top. the cold's down, it's just pushing exactly. it like a blanket, yeah. keeping all that nastiness up exactly. in the air. Exactly, yeah. I got, this is so, and you do all these <laughs> experiments and you do all these showcasing yes. things at the planetarium. Yes, every Kids Friday. Kids coming in, this is, the visual yeah. paints a thousand words. Absolutely, right? absolutely, yeah. So every Friday we do Fun Science Friday from 2.30 to 6.30, um, and it's a different demo every week. So I think this Friday on the 3rd is our sound demo. And you're, you're celebrating 20 years at the Clark Planetarium. Yes, this we is are. Huge. Where can we go for more information? Yeah, clarkplanetarium.org is our website, and they'll have information about everything. This is so rad. Science is cool. Thank yes. you so much. And uh, I, I I was hoping for a bigger mess, but you have to come back next time and we'll do that volcano <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Utah doesn't need a volcano. But thank you, Audrey, for coming. Yeah, thank in. you so much for having me.